Hey everybody, welcome to Define Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So I am jumping on to do a quick energy read for the weekend, for your weekend. Yeah, so this is going to be an energy reading for October 13th and 14th. Um, this is not sign specific and this also is not um, specific towards like love, soulmates or anything like that. Um, career. This could really be about anything. I'm just leaving it open. Just reading the energies here to give you guys some messages for your weekend. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the tarot and then I'm going to get some oracle guidance from the crystal mandala deck. So let's just, let's just get into this guys. Yeah. Okay. Hey spirit, please make me a clear channel for the human collective, <laughs> please bring forward the best messages for our weekend, yeah, to serve the highest good of all involved. Please bring forward the best messages for the weekend of October 13th and 14th. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. So, all right, guys. Um, like I said, this is this is just a general reading. Um, it's not sign-specific. It is general, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm uh, I'm seeing some strong orange, okay? There could be a lot. There could be some good chances to work on some emotional things. Maybe you might be doing some emotional purging this weekend. Entirely possible. It's a very, it's a very rich orange. Very, very rich. So um, there could just be, I'm picking up, there could be a lot of opportunity for social endeavors, um, having some fun with friends. Um, yeah. Could be a lot of sensual activity going on here. I'm just going to shuffle one more time, and then I'm going to free shuffle and let the cards fall out. Okay, guys? All right, cool. Take a sip of some coffee here. All right, guys. So let's see what we got for your weekend. October 13th. And 14, October 13th and 14th. What's going on for you guys? October 13th and 14th. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? October 13th and 14th. Just gonna let it. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got the Emperor here. The Two of Swords, all right, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Okay, underneath the deck, we've got the Queen of Cups. So, okay, there's the emotion I was talking about, all right? So this could be a pretty emotional weekend, um, and it kind of looks like it. So, okay, we've got the Emperor here with the Two of Swords is in reverse. We've got the Five of Swords, and we've got the Six of Cups. So, all right, here's some more of where the emotions could be, okay? We've got um, some conflict with a soulmate, um, with a past partner, twin flame, something like that. Um, you could be purging. You could really be purging some energies from the past, um, some situations from, you know, just the recent past, the distant past, your childhood, past lives, okay? Uh, we've got the Emperor and we've got the Two of Swords here. The Two of Swords is in reverse. So there's definitely an energy of someone taking their power back, okay? A lot of you really could be taking control over your lives and deciding not to be dis indecisive about things anymore. The Two of Swords um, often in this deck it's different, but the Two of Swords often is about not seeing things clearly, refusing to see things as they truly are. It can mean confusion. So for any of you that have been dealing with some situations in which, or some energies in which, you know, you were kind of blinded to the reality of the situation, or maybe you didn't want to see the situation clearly. Mm hmm. Maybe you didn't want to see it for what it was. Maybe you were refusing to look at something. I'm really getting that some of you this weekend, you really might be dealing with it. And it really could be as, it could be as simple as you're being forced to deal with it, okay? Like you can't hide from it anymore. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Um, all right, so these are all going to go together here. I'm just going to do another pull to see. Okay, I'm going to leave the Queen of Cups right there. All right, let's see what else we can get for your weekend here. Okay, the 
there's one, there's another. Weekend, October 13th and 14th. Okay, what do we have here? We've got the star in reverse and we've got the world. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What else, what else, what else, what else? What's going on here? With the star in reverse, woo! Oh boy. Okay, well I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it here. All right, okay, cool. So underneath the deck we have strength, okay? Strength. Um, this is really going to be a really healing weekend. A very, very healing weekend. Good Lord, this is a lot. This is a whole lot, you guys. Okay, but I'm going to do my best here because here we go. <laughs> this is daunting. <laughs> but okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. So far, so also, I want to point out, first of all, we've got counterparts here. King and Queen of Wands. This already is talking to me about um, about the balance here, balancing out the scales, balancing between masculine and feminine, okay? And then we have the star in reverse and the world. So there's definitely some healing that's coming into play for this weekend, okay? Um, the star is in reverse. You might be lacking some hope. You might be fearful. There might be some fearful energies here. But with the king and the queen, we've got some balance with, between masculine and feminine, okay? The Hermit, the Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Okay, well, with the Page of Wands here, I'm getting passionate new beginnings. Some of you really could be connecting with someone, a soulmate, a twin flame, potentially. Uh, we've got the Hierophant and we've got the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups and the Hierophant, now, especially with the um, the King and the Queen of Wands here, with these counterparts, and what I was talking about with the um, balance of masculine and feminine energies here, that's definitely being reiterated. So as you guys heal... As, honestly, as, as this healing happens, and this is definitely connected to whatever turmoil is going on over here, okay, if you guys can see that, but um, whatever is healing is happening here, it's helping you come into union within, okay, with the Hierophant and the Two of Cups, it's, and the King and the Queen of Wands. There's definitely a good amount of balance that's being stricken here, and that's really, really excellent. If this is something that you don't necessarily feel right now, you're going through this process, you're going to be getting there, okay? Now, for some of you, um, there is going to be an energy of needing to go within, okay, with the Hermit. Some of you may not necessarily be out and about too much um with the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles here i really feel like there's an energy of um trying to conserve money energy resources that kind of thing um my, trying to maintain balance okay but this is also um this is okay so what's happening here this is with this set this is a uh, this is like advice okay so some of you might just want to lay low this weekend some of you may not want to um spend too much money because there's a lot of energy of healing here okay so with the two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles um, some of you may still may be like laying low this weekend in order to keep yourself in balance, in order to help you work through this healing that's happening, okay? This purging that's going on, this balancing of masculine and feminine, or just balancing of the scales for you. Um, and then with the Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands, um, I really feel like you guys could be spending this weekend trying to like you know, reserve um, your energy, maybe even build some more energy, like keep your, like, you know, I'm getting with the Page of Wands and the Nine of Wands, wanting to um, conserve your energy or just like charge your batteries. That's what I'm getting, charging your batteries, okay? That's not a bad thing at all, not at all. But overall, this feels like a weekend of purging, of healing. And if you've been purging a lot lately, I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear that you're most likely going to be going through more purging. But 
you know, it's this is that time, okay? This is the time in life where humanity is really trying to heal, trying to purge, trying to grow. Um, I'm also picking up that some of you might be purging for the collective. That is a thing, guys. So um, many of my friends, they kind of like reach out to me and they're like, oh my God, I thought I was through all of this. Why am I still purging? Where is this all of this coming from? It could be coming from the collective, guys, okay? We're all connected here. Uh, and especially if you identify with the light worker situation, you know, you're not just necessarily just purging or healing for yourself. Your part of your mission is to heal for the collective. And I feel like a lot of the people that connect with me are in fact light workers. Twin flames, star seeds, all that kind of thing. So we are charged <laughs> with purging and helping heal for everyone else. But honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say that your theme for this weekend is strength here, okay? We are building strength, all right? We are asked to maintain our strength. We have the strength, the abundance, the universe is behind us, guys, okay? So you have the strength to get through this, y'all, all right? So let's get an oracle card, some oracle guidance here for your weekend from the Crystal Mandala deck. Just some advice on how to how to really surmount these energies, yeah? Let's see what we've got. Spirit, let's see. For the weekend, October 13th and 14th. What's going on for us? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take this one too. On the bottom of the deck is card number 19, Ascension, Ascended Master, Serapis Bay, and Clear Calcite, Karmic Grace. We also have card number 48, Goddess Freya and Amber, The Untamed, and also card number 22, Ascended Master, Hilarion, and Green Chrysophrase, Discernment. Um, now... Already, I am being called to recommend that if you guys are really having trouble working through the through these these situations or these energies, um, green crystal phrase might really help you. I have some right here. It's really great for um, healing, for working on forgiveness, um, accepting forgi energies of forgiveness. So if you're really going to be in the trenches of this purging energy right here, right now, um, I would say maybe try and get some green chrysoprase. It doesn't have to be in time for the weekend, like if you can't make it out to the shop until like the week or something. That's okay, because these energies are going to flow. Energies are fluid, okay? This is just something, these are just messages that are wanting that are wanting to come through for the weekend. Um, but if you want to get some green crystal phrase, I already feel like that would be a really excellent idea for some of you, okay? Let's get into the book here and just read some quick messages. We're going to start with Karmic Grace. Card number 19, Ascended Master, Serapis Bay, and Clear Calcite. We bring you the blessing of Karmic Grace. There are many ways to learn and grow. Some ways are joyful and some more challenging. Sometimes a challenge can be best can best be resolved through profound struggle that forces you to transform in such a way that you can never go back to what has been. The struggle might have been deeply painful for the mind, body, and emotions. And yet what is gained from that experience is a multiplicity of blessings, personal power, freedom, insight, self-respect, and wisdom. These qualities can help you live a better life where the past pain may not be repeated. Blessings can, at other times, be gained through joyful experience. Sometimes the struggle is what will bring you the greatest spiritual pro progress. Sometimes a more joyful path will be how you grow best. The universe loves you with such passion that you shall never be denied what you most need and what shall help you fulfill your divine destiny. This card is definitely in alignment with what has come out here today, okay? Uh, we're going to go next to, let's go, since, let's go in chronological order. That will make it easier <laughs> to get through the book. So we're going to go to card number 22 next. Ascended Master Hilarion and Green Chrysophrase. Discernment. We bring you the blessing of discernment. 
There is an expression that all that glitters is not gold and that appearances can deceive. This does not mean you must greet the world and all its appearances with suspicion and distrust. It does mean in it is wise to trust what you feel and sense happening beneath the surface, even if that seems to directly oppose what is being said or what many others may believe. The world is filled with opportunities for you to practice sensing truth behind the mask. You will do this most accurately when you allow your instincts and intuition to inform you without rationalizing the information so it matches the superficial appearance of things. If intuition or instinct is niggling at you, then it is trying to communicate something. Listen. Take your time to feel your authentic response. Discernment helps you cut through illusion, manipulation, and deception and get to the heart of the matter at hand. It is the intelligent use of your intuition and instinct that will help you navigate through the multitude of choices available to you every day and choose what best serves your life journey. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And finally, we have card number 48, Goddess Freya and Amber, the Untamed. We bring you the empowerment of the untamed. To be, untamed. to be untamed is to be true to oneself without condition. It is freedom, but it is not always easy. There are many belief systems, some of which are considered to be essential and beyond question to mainstream human society, which would mark an untamed spirit at a dangerous as excuse me as a dangerous and suspicious creature, even though the untamed spirit serves unconditional love. Yet to be untamed is the only way to discover who you are and live your divine destiny. Behind the clothing, the social masks, and the stories you tell yourself or what others tell you, there is a beautiful, wild, divine creature that wants out. Uncage that divinity and watch your wild beauty emerge as you and your world transform through raw grace. All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, please don't hesitate to, to reach out and let me know how this was helpful. If you guys want more of these, I am very happy to do so. I am. <laughs> this is my morning coffee. So we could do like a morning coffee thing. That would kind of be awesome. Um, just, I, I, my schedule is kind of limited, but if you guys do want more, more daily readings and check-ins and all that, please let me know and I will find a way to work it into my schedule. Yeah. All right, guys. So there it is. Much love to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am available for private readings. If you would like, the email is in the description box below along with all the readings that I offer. Yeah. Much love to you. Have a great weekend and I will speak with you soon. Take care. Mwah. Bye.